Welcome to the Bland and Art Museum. Thank you for joining me today. This is Look and Learn, a podcast about artwork currently on display at the Blandon. The goal of this podcast is to connect with the Blandon members and learn about different works of art currently on display. Each week, sharing personal impressions and information on selected works of art and the artists who created them. Today we'll be looking at two prints that are currently on display and part of the exhibit, Encounters with Nature. The prints are a great example of lithography and delightful images of human interaction with water. Each print has unique character and both artists handle the medium in different ways. Let's take a look and learn more about Adolf Dunn's Summer Day and Stowe Winsenroth's The River. Summer Day, printed by Adolf Dunn, is a wonderful image of individuals fishing, a lake full of activity and sport. It reminds me, personally, a lot of the days spent fishing on Big Spirit in Northern Iowa. Adolf Dunn was born in 1895 in Minnesota. He was an American lithographer and painter. He attended the Minneapolis School of Art and later studied at the Arts Student League of New York. Dunn spent time after World War I traveling Europe living and working in Paris and Vienna. He returned to New York in 1929 and continued to create work, and in 1930 his work started to appear in magazines like The New Yorker and Vogue. As an artist, Dunn participated in and helped define some important movements in American art history, which included regionalism, social realism, and character. During his artistic career, he was a two-time recipient of the Guggenheim Fellowship, which are grants that have been awarded since 1952 for those who have demonstrated exceptional capacity for productive scholarship or exceptional creative ability in the arts. The print, Summer Day, depicts a warm day on a lake in Minnesota. People fishing, positioning to catch the daily diet of fish and sport. This print makes me think of walleye weekend on the Iowa Great Lakes. Spending time growing up fishing provides a great insight and understanding on the way people interact and encounter not only with the fish and nature, but also with each other. Each clamoring for the best spot, each wishing to catch the big one. The print summer day has a very folksy look and sensibility, which comes from the artist's use of simple shapes and his generalization of marks for the people fishing, trees, and the landscape. Looking at the print, The River, by Stowe Wisenrith, there's a calmness to the image and a clear academic quality. There's a softness to the marks and the gradation of the values are settled and controlled. The print is a very nice composition of a river with two sailboats floating downstream with farms and homesteads in the background. The aesthetics of the print are more academic and controlled. Stowe Wisenrith was born in 1906 in Brooklyn. An American printer, he was once called America's greatest living artist working in black and white. Considered to be one of the finest American lith lithographers of the 20th century. He studied at the Art Student League of New York in 1923 through 1927 then later studied at Grand Central School of Art. Winsenworth was a member of the National Institute of Arts and Letters, Connecticut Academy of Fine Arts, and the Prairie Maker, Printmakers, all notable supporters of the printed arts in America. During his lifetime, he published several books on lithography, and his prints can be found in major art collections, including the Library of Congress, Whitney Museum of Art, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Winsenworth was known for his detailed depictions of seascapes and landscapes in New England and Maine, where he focused on shadow, light, and form to transmit the details and dimension in all of his prints. In this exhibit, Encounters with Nature, these two prints are presented next to each other to invite the viewer to start a conversation with the prints. To begin a dialogue between the differences and the similarities, the artist chose to compose an experience with nature 
in the way humans encounter, encounter and enjoy the outdoors. If you compare the two prints, there's an interesting relationship between the way individuals are, in, are depicted engaging with nature. In the river, the feeling is more casual and leisure. This leisure attitude is greatly reflected in the way Rinnenroth produced the whole image. The softness of his marks and the overall calmness created by the slight gradation of value. Versus summer day, where the engagement is higher, the energy is raised and is then reflected in the graininess of the marks and the quick steps between the values. I enjoy the interplay of the values in both prints. The river, the interplay is well balanced and velvety, which allows one to enjoy the beauty of the image. Versus the high contrasting elements of the dark versus light found in summer day. This print is full of life. Life is created by the beats and rhythm created by the quick changes between the values. The viewer is caught up in the activity and the strong contrast helps with the feeling of the hot summer day. Both prints make me want to get out and enjoy nature, either by grabbing my fishing pole and the kids, or just spending some time relaxing and enjoying the sounds of water. Whatever your connection is to water, both prints are delightful to look at and to enjoy. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you for listening in. As you go going about your day, think about the different ways you encounter nature. Let it inspire you. Enjoy it. Be creative. Bye for now. See you next time.